Hello everyone and welcome to the Open Pakistan webinar series. The Open Pakistan webinar series is an initiative of Open Programs for Pakistan. These programs provide professional development opportunities to English language learners and teachers all across Pakistan. These programs are fully funded by Regional English Language Office Relo at US Embassy Islamabad. It is administrated by Evolution in Pakistan. These programs include open global online courses, massive open online courses, webinar series, and then engaging our alumni into different productive activities. If you wish to stay updated about Relo Pakistan and its opportunities, you can visit www.facebook.com slash Relo Pakistan. You can also subscribe to Relo Pakistan YouTube channel. If you wish to stay updated about open programs for Pakistan, you can visit www.evolution.com.pk slash eTeacher. From the series of four, we are broadcasting our web last webinar, that is 4.10. And the topic for our webinar is English as a Secondary Language Online Freshers. And the presenter for our today's topic is Ammara. Ammara Aftab Sundro is an ELT professional and an e-teacher alumnus. Alumna, she has done MPhil in English Applied Linguistics. Presently, she is working as a visiting lecturer at Namal University, Hyderabad campus. Amara is also working as an English English Access teacher with English Access Micro Scholarship program funded by Rendo Pakistan. She continued to take part in effective professional development programs funded by Rendo Pakistan. Amara has completed the Open Global Online course titled Using Educational Technology in English Language Classroom. She is also awarded to participate in the Sol 2020 Virtual Convention and English Language Expo funded by U.S. Consulate Karachi and Reno, Pakistan. Today's webinar will enable the participants to discover the new and exciting ESL web resources for implementing in virtual classes. You will be able to explore or online digitalized reading resources and how to prepare fun and engaging video quiz lessons using online tools. Last but not the least, you will be able to learn tips and tricks to make online classes productive and interactive. So without any delay, I would like to welcome Amara to present our webinar. Well, good evening, everyone. So welcome you all. And today I will be talking about the topic and the title for my Web, uh, webinar session is uh, ESL online treasures. So I'll be talking about ESL online treasures, ESL online resources that I personally use in my virtual classes and I find them super engaging and fun for my students. And uh, okay, so let's go to the, let's move to the next slide. So these are basically two of the resources that I'll be talking about. One of them is ISL Collective and the other one is books.com. So first I will show you how to use ISL Collective. So this is basically a newly web-based tool that is basically designed to use a video quiz lessons for your students. So in this website, in this resource, you will find ESL worksheets for your students, of course, ready-made ESL worksheets for your students. And you can find ESL PowerPoint presentations for your students. And if you're looking for video quiz lessons, then you can also find uh, very engaging, engaging and interactive video quiz lessons for your students. So this is the area which is of my major interest today. And uh, I'll be talking um, about uh, this topic that how you can actually create a video quiz lessons for your students using this web based tool. So uh, using these tools, you can create a task for your students that can be engaging, interactive for your students that could keep their all the, uh, you know, um, keep, that could keep their all senses focused on learning English and it is quite fun as well. So as I told you that this is basically a newly web-based tool that is used to create a video quiz lessons for your students and what is used for it is basically used to reinforce and take students' comprehension on different topics, whether it be grammar-based topics, vocabulary-based topics, or uh, listening comprehension and so on and so forth. So once you know how to do it, it's a very simple and a smart way to use and create a video lessons for your students. And uh, so let's move on and I will show you how to do it. And uh, uh, so let's take a very quick, quick tour of ISL Collective. And for that, what you will have to do, the very first thing you'll have to do is you will need to log into your Gmail account. And uh, uh, of course, you'll have to open the ISL web, uh, collective web page, and for that, you will first you will have to log into your Gmail account and sign in with your Gmail ID. 
um, select account and uh, there it goes. So this is how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. So if you could see at the top, you will find the number of options. If you are looking for ESL worksheets for your students, then this is the option for you. If you're looking for the ESL PowerPoint presentations for your students, then this is the option. If you're looking for the video lessons for your students, then this is the option. And if you, uh, whatever topic you're looking for, you can simply write here on the search bar and click on tap on this search button and you will find the topic. Uh, you will scroll down a little and you will find a topic here that you could easily download and uh, use in your virtual classes. But the major area, uh, the, the area that is of my interest uh, that uh, and that's something that I want to talk about is how you can actually create a video lessons for your students uh, on your own. So for that, you will have to use this option, upload, just tap on it and you will find two options, create a video lessons and upload your self-created worksheet. So since I want you to create a video lesson for your students, so for that, you will have to pick this option, create a video lesson and uh, just tap on it and there it go if you will scroll down a little you will find these three options if you want to generate a vocabulary quiz that and th this is the option for you if you want to generate a grammar quiz then this is the option for you and for that you will have to uh, you know the ad or pick up a video from YouTube only and uh, for, but I want you to go with this third option make your own customized video so for that uh, you can either uh, you know add a YouTube video link or you can uh, also use a Vimeo URL link here so uh, since we want to add a YouTube link here you can uh, choose any YouTube link it could be any animated movie it could be any uh, scene from any movie or any TV series or um, anything like it could be anything you can any, anything from the YouTube. So I will pick up this uh, video uh, Heinz uh, beans uh, a can size for every Aussie. So I'll pick up uh, I'll add this video. So first I'll copy the link go back to the creator and put it here. Okay, so since I have pasted the video link here. So what the next, um, you know, uh, what is the next step? I'll have to click on this um, plus sign button to make your own custom suite. So first it will show you the tutorial how you can create a video lessons for your students. Since I'm already going to uh, show you a demonstration that how you can create a video lesson for your students quite in detail. So we are going to just uh, skip this uh, tutorial. So just click on this next and next button and start creating a video lesson for your students. Okay, so this is how it looks. So if you could see on your screen, you will find this plus sign button. You will just have to, if you click on it, so you will find a number of options. So that depends if you want to add a gap fill question for your students, if you want to add a multiple choice question, if you want to add a scramble sentence task, open-ended question, uh, matching task, or um, uh, or if you want to add interactive picture dictionary task, uh, add the correct um, wrong word question, or add find the extra word task, or listen and tap the word. Students will see all the words on the screen at the same time and need to tap each one when they hear it for the first time. And uh, you can also cut out part from the video that you can't, that you don't need for your students. So you can add as many questions as you want to throughout the video, okay? So uh, let's play the video first. Okay, so let's pause it here. Uh, let's suppose if I want to add a multiple uh, choice question here. So for that, I will pick up this option and scroll a little down and then write a question here. So what question you want to add here? So for example, uh, I will write a question in this scene. The boy add options. 
is reading. OK, so uh, see, for example, if I am teaching my students present simple tense and present continuous tense, and this is the radio uh, 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 quiz lesson that I want to create for my students in order to check their comprehension on that particular topic. So I am creating a video quiz uh, uh, lesson for my students. Uh, with the title present simple and present continuous tense. Okay, so this is what I want to. Um, this is uh, what I want to check uh, my students, um, you know, comprehension on that topic. So uh, this is the option. Uh, this option is also given if you want to give us some extra explanation on that topic. And but this is an option. So I will just write uh, present continuous since uh, this is the present continuous situation in that particular scene. And uh, the, for example, this scene, the boy is reading a book is the correct answer. So I'll pick up that option and will it continue uh, with it. So see, you can see. Okay. So here again, I want to add a multiple choice question. So for that, again, I will pick up the same option, of course, and scroll it down. He he works is the head of innovation. Sorry. I just told you the correct answer. So he works work is working. Okay, so the correct answer is of course he works. So this is something he does on regular basis. So this is the present situation of present simple tense. Okay, and continue with it. Okay, so we will add an open ended question here. What is he doing at the moment? Okay, so you will write your answer here and then you will check your students' comprehension letter. He is cooking. You know that. So you will check if your students are, you know, would be able to write the same answer or not and you will just add on continue sorry click on continue okay so just add here uh, a scramble sentence task Okay, so for example, if you want to add a question, put the words in. Order. And you will, uh, you will write the complete sentence, then they will mix up the words for you. He is inventing new things. So suppose, okay, now I scramble the sentence. So this is how it will be shown to your students on their screens and they will scram they will uh, you know scramble the sent unscrambled words and let's continue okay okay so this is how you can add as many as question as you want to throughout this uh, video right so now what next is once you are done with adding up all the questions and your uh, a video, then what you will have to do, you will have to give a suitable title to it. For example, uh, practice present sample and present continuous tense, right? And what we'll have to do next is you will have to edit tags. Now, this is something a required information that you will have to do. This is something required. This is something optional, okay? So the required information, you will put up all the details that are required 
to publish this task on um, you know, the website. So for that, you will have to give a task description first. And for that, I'll be giving this task description. Okay. Okay, so this is the task description. For example, I, in this task, the students have to question and complete, have to answer questions and complete and scramble sentences, having in mind the difference between present simple and uh, present continuous. So this is the task description I have given. Then you will be giving a scene summary. For that, again, what you will have to do is you will have to give a summary of the video that you have picked up for your students. And as for suppose I have given this summary. In this scene, we witness the journey of a boy that gets a job, meets the girls of his life, has kids and creates a special food for hens. So this is the summary of the of this entire video. Now you'll have to choose a video genre. So this is a basically a animated movie. For that, you will have to choose the particular, uh, you know, the uh, appropriate top uh, option for this. This is it, short film. This is animated or with human actors. Lesson type, of course, is a grammar-based um, lesson. So this is a grammar practice. And uh, the level of the students may be of the beginner levels. And for the student type, or maybe they are the elementary sc school students. And uh, uh, copyright license, of course, the ISIL collected copyright, okay? And once done, you will, this option, and then you are going to save this video. Since you, uh, once you have saved, then you are going to publish it. Okay. Once you have published this video, you will move to this. This is how it has published on this website. This has been published on your website. Okay. Now what we are going to do, this is how it will look to your students. For example, if you want to uh, practice, if you want to, uh, you know, bring this video to your, uh, for your students and your virtual classes, what we'll have to do is uh, you'll bring this video for your virtual, you'll share the screen with the students, and then it will ask you for the options, whether you want to watch this video without quiz, whether you want to play it in interactive mode, whether you want to play it in casino game, and then, uh, with the, and, and non interactive mode. So you'll have, you'll pick up this option interactive mode. So this is how it will look to your students. Okay, so the same question that you created a uh, that you generated for your students, okay? So in this scene, the boy is reading a book is the correct answer. So we'll pick up this option. And if you could see this, you will, okay, bingo. Explanation is given. And if you could see, you can see here a scoreboard. In total, we have created four questions throughout the video. So out of four, you have corrected, you have given a one answer, which is the correct, of course. So this is a scoreboard here. Okay, so he works as the head of innovation. Innovation. So he works is the correct answer. And let's move on. Okay, uh, what is he doing at the moment? And for example, if your students write, he is, uh, for example, he is dancing and the correct answer is he's cooking. So uh, you will click on next and then it will ask you, my answer was, your student's answer was he is dancing and the correct answer was he's cooking, the solution was he's cooking. So if you got it wrong, you will have to put, uh, you know, click this option. If you got it right, then you'll click this option. So. I got it drawn here for I suppose. So it's oops moment for your students. And if you could see your scoreboard here, it's 
two. So out of four questions, you have answered two questions correctly. And one of your answer is not correct. So this is how it will be shown to your students. So let's see. Okay, so now uh, we also added this question. So put the words in order, put the words in order, of course. So uh, he is inventing new things. Go next and go next. And if you could see your scoreboard, it's three out of four. So similarly, you will watch the entire video, okay? So this is how you'll watch it. And at the Okay, so uh, this is how it works. And I hope you must have loved it. You must have enjoyed uh, this tool this wonderful tool and okay. So now the next thing what I want to share with you is how you can get access to the ESL uh, English ESL worksheets or how you can, if you want to upload ESL worksheets, similarly, you can um, uh, choose this option, upload your self-created worksheets and this will be the option for you. You can um, uh, create, uh, uh, sorry, upload a worksheets on your own. But if you want to, are looking for a ready-made material, then you can simply move on to this option. Go to this option, uh, type and search a topic in the search bar. For example, present simple tense. Search here. And uh, if you scroll down, you will find these worksheets. If something goes appropriate to your lesson, just Click on it, scroll it down and download it from here. It is that super easy and it doesn't require any efforts from you. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so similarly, again, we will move back to the ISL web page. Similarly, if you're looking for ESL PowerPoint presentations, then this is the option for you. The same way you will uh, search for a topic in the search bar. And if you, if you, when you scroll down, you'll find the number of topics there. Then you can simply click on this download button and you will um, uh, get access to that particular topic in the PowerPoint presentation format. And yes, and this is the video lesson. So if you are looking for the ready-made video lessons, what you will have to do, you will just have to write a topic here. For example, present simple tense and click on this topic video lessons. Okay, so you can uh, video lessons and then write. First, you will have to uh, click on that option video lessons. You will have to write present simple tense. Scroll a little down and there it is. Okay, so here is the video library video uh, quiz library uh, that has already been created for you by some other authors that has already been published uh, for you people by some other authors you will just have to pick up that some any random video and uh, and bring it in your virtual classes okay so similarly you will play it in the interactive mode and this is how it is. Okay, so uh, see, I think, I believe that this is the, authentic, the most authentic way to bring videos in your classes. And you as a teacher don't need to think where to pause the button or what question I shall be asking from the students. You just have to, you know, 
uh, you're focused just on the student's comprehension and that's it. So what I believe is this is the one of the effortless job that teachers has to do. And uh, 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 I just love this tool and I would recommend all of you to just, uh, to just you know, uh, try this out and you are definitely going to love it. So this is all about, I wanted to share, this is all I wanted to share about uh, ISL Collective. And uh, yes. Okay, so the, now the next resource that we will be talking about is the books. And now this is the resource that I uh, wanted to introduce you, uh, introduce. Uh, to you people like this is very good tool for reinforcing reading listening and speaking skills of your students and it is basically about storybooks which are being digitalized and brought to life but the most important thing this is the paid application and website but uh, I just want to tell you that they are offering one year free subscription to teachers so first I'll be showing you how to use this website and the other step would be that I will be showing you how you can get that free subscription uh, as being a teacher, okay? So yes, of course, this is, uh, there are so many fascinating features in this uh, website. Again, they are, you will find number of storybooks, digitalized storybooks that are grouped together by categories. You will just have to search and find something appropriate to the lesson or unit you are currently teaching. For example, if you are teaching something to your students uh, related to friendship or interventions or um, anything like that, you could simply, uh, you know, uh, look for the, category, you can find uh, the uh, video appropriate to the lesson that you are teaching to the students and you can bring that in your virtual classes. So, okay, so not just that, but you can also, um, you know, they will not just be playing audio and video for your students, but it will also be showing and displaying the text on the sc screen, the written text on the screen, then highlighting the text as being read. So it will also help your students uh, improve their reading skills and your reading comprehensions. And uh, this website, you can easily find a visual connection between our uh, words and text. And not only this, but you will also find number of teaching resources um, in this website. So you will find number of themes, summaries, discussion ideas, activity ideas and vocabulary words and so on and so forth. So I will show you um, how, of course, I'll be showing you how you can uh, have uh, access to this account. But first, I will show you a uh, free account. But first, I will show you how you can, you know, uh, use this uh, website, use this tool. So this is one of, again, the ESL online treasures. So first, you will have to, you know, go, back, uh, go to the a uh, books uh, web page and uh, just go to it since i have already uh, you know gotten that free account so what i'll be doing i'll simply log into it i have my free account so i'll simply log into it and this is it I, um you are signed in and let's start watching okay so this is how it looks and this is how you know this is so attractive and uh, it looks so attractive and the interface is wonderful. And uh, yes, as I told you that you will find number of books, number of digitalized books in this website, all books are grouped together by the categories. So if uh, something, uh, if you are looking for the new releases, so this is the option. These are grouped together under this category, new releases. And if you are uh, looking for something with the popular title, then this is the, uh, you know, uh, category you, uh, you have. And if you are looking for the students of uh, preschool stu uh, aged students, and this, these are the stories for them. And for se uh, seasonal stories, of course, these are the seasonal stories for your students. And if you're looking something uh, related to animals, then these are the, this is the category. These are the stories. What you will have to do, for example, let me show you how you can play. So uh, let's uh, take any random uh, video. Uh, let's take this video. Sweet dreams, Sara. Okay, so I have, uh, chosen this video. I have 
Okay. Okay, so yes. Sweet dreams, Sarah. Before the Civil War, Sarah obeyed her owner. Hurry up! Eyes down! Okay, so as I told you that this will not be just showing you video and audio. Uh, to your students, but you could also see the text as being, you know, and um, on your screens, and uh, the text has been highlighted uh, for your students. So this could also, you know, help them in improving their reading skills and reading comprehension. Don't speak. Slaves were property, like a cow, or a plow, or the cotton that grew in the master's fields. But every day, Sarah dreamed of a different life. A husband, a family, a job that she loved. Her father was a carpenter. With a hammer in his hands, he could build anything. Sarah thought she could too. Then something happened that changed their lives forever. A new law freed people from slavery. Sarah moved to Chicago with freedom in her pocket, hope in her heart, and dream. Okay, so this is how it will be shown to your students. And you could see that there is a visual connection of, you know, words and text. And it's a very attractive way to bring uh, 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 digitalized, you know, the storybooks in your classrooms, and it will help them to in improve their listening skills, reading skills, and writing skills. It will help them to build their vocabulary too. And if you could uh, see here, here you will find a summary of the story. And this, this is the summary of the story. And this is it. So. Okay, so as I told you that you can bring anything in your classroom, for example, if you are teaching your students something related to inventions, you can pick up this story that is all about the uh, popular inventors and uh, you can bring this story. Uh, for example, Johannes sent class. metal letters down in a Real heroes, inventors who changed the world. Delicate nests from strips of bamboo. So this is how they will also get to know about the history and the inventors, someone who really changed the world. Yes. So one more thing that I want to tell you all about is the resources. This is for all those teachers who are looking for more than some uh, only the videos for the students. But for those teachers, this is the option like these re education resources. For example, if you were, uh, if you, uh, uh, you know, were teaching the students about the inventions and you showed them the video that was all about the inventions. So what you will be doing is you will go into this option, uh, resources, you will scroll down, you will find uh, the ready-made material, the ready-made uh, activities that and the lesson plan that are being designed um, on uh, that particular topic. Like you will find a story summary here. You will find the activities ideas here. You will find the discussion points here. You will find the reading comprehension to activity here and a lot more. So um, you, this is something you can easily download it from here. And uh, you can use it later on in your virtual classes.
okay so yes okay so now i'll be showing this is it all about the books and i hope you must have loved it and uh, i i will i would recommend you to uh, you know use this resource and your virtual classes and your students are uh, to love this uh, you know a resource and this is uh, this is you know by far the best one of the best these two isl collected and books are by far two of the best you know the isl esl online treasures and I just love these two web um, resources. Okay, so now I'll be telling you that how you can uh, get an access to you, how you can get the free, uh, you know, one year subscription as being a teacher. So for that, you will have to write to that uh, books free subscription for teachers on the Google search bar. And you will have to pick that, you know, click on that first hyperlink, free for teachers. Okay, move a little down, scroll it down, and you can read this, you know, the details and the information which is in given. At books, we are huge fans of teachers. The impact teachers have on our students' lives is so important and so incredible gift to our society. As a thank you, we want to give a teachers a year long subscription, subscription to books for free. For a limited time, teachers can sign up and get free access to our entire library of animated uh, storybooks with the words on the screen and slow paced animation. Uh, books encourages the development of literacy, focus and imagination in kids uh, of, you know, under age 20 to under the age of two uh, to eight years old. And uh, books uh, creates uh, kids content in a new and a fresh way that makes it is easy for the teachers and parents to direct the children's social and emotional developments. We already have channels like friendship, bravery, and kindness. In the near future, we will have channels like empathy, growth, mindset, uh, science, and biography. So they're basically, they are talking about the categories that I showed you in the website. So Weeks is excited to partner with teachers to help advance uh, the social emotional development of our kids. So for that, you will have to click on this teacher's appreciation link. Just click on it and they will ask you for this information, your personal information. So this is the information they are looking from you. Okay. They are looking for from you. So this is the email ID. You will be giving your email ID, your first name, last name, your school name, your school address, and uh, the city that you belong to, uh, the zip and postal code, and the state and province name, country name, grade level students per class, like how many students are there in your class. And once you will uh, enter all the details, you will just have to tap on this send button. Okay, so of course you will have to first uh, uh, mark this check mark and this and then you will uh, just click on the send button since i have already gotten my um, free subscription account so i'm not going to enter all the details again so if you want to um, you know get an access to it as a, a, a free subscriber so you can fill up this form and click on the send button then they will be sending you a books account and your books account with the password on your ID, email ID that you will be needing to log into and activate your book account. That password you can change um, later on. And uh, yes, so this is how you can get the free subscription. And uh, yes, so we have already taken a quick uh, tour of books, so we are not going to, okay. So take a tour of it again. So this is it. This is all from my side. I hope you uh, must have loved these two uh, ESL online resources, ESL online um, treasures, and I hope you will try them out uh, in your virtual classes in future. And I'll be looking forward to receive your feedbacks and the comments below. Okay. So thank you. And I love this. Thank you so much, Amara, for presenting such a wonderful webinar. If you have any comments, questions, or any suggestions, please feel free to write us at eTeacher at the rate evolution.com.pk. 
happy teaching and happy learning thank you